I want to watch you know Chops IW Zombies video. Game. Infinite Warfare. Is it a W? Is it an L? Let me know, chat. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. To be one of the let's get into it. Call of Duty titles to date. A game that before it's released, Chat, I, I didn't play the IW campaign, but I heard the IW campaign was amazing. One in the chat if it is, two in the chat if it's poopy. Absolutely shredded. Almost Maybe I should go back and play it entire COD community and is the most disliked COD trailer on YouTube ever. In fact, Which some is of sad. you watching this video probably participated in making that dislike bar what it One is. One in the today. chat if this was but you. The weird thing is, I, I actually have a hard time. Hold on. I, can we check? Oh, this is me. <laughs> yep, that's me. Somebody that still holds that level of disdain for this game anymore. Even the comments on the trailer at the time show a brutal reception and an absolute hatred for COD and Infinite Warfare in particular. But more recent comments show... I mean, this is so true. Chat, is this not true, this comment? Enough futuristic games, enough World War II games. Chat! I'm going to be honest, I didn't hate the futuristic genre. I was not saying enough futuristic games. This was not me. I think this was only MP Andy's, to be quite honest. More gracious, nostalgic take on the game. In fact, compared to many other COD games released around the same time frame, I think IW has some of the best weapons too, which is sadness. To surpass the sales of World at War. And wow. Shockingly low compared to other games. And when it comes to the chat, IW was a good game or a bad game? I think this game was great. The great Not as good as World of War, but it's pretty franchise. good. The community will be quick to jump it's on. It's the best non-Treyarch game, for sure. So on, for sure. Very rarely, if in ever, my opinion, is for zombies Infinite at least. Warfare ever considered a serious contender to be one of the goats. But the question is, did Infinite Warfare deserve this level of criticism? Are there areas in the game in which that dislike bar is actually justified? Was Infinite War Chat, what propelled IW to get so much hate? Was it just because people were not expecting another futuristic game and then we got IW? I think that's what it was. That was never given a chance because of its the MP? initial reception. Or was it actually just a bad video oh, game? Oh, Jetpacks, yeah. After recently revisiting the game and combining it with how I felt about it at the time of its release, I'm taking a more holistic approach to answering these questions. It's going to be a quite nuanced discussion today with Infinite Warfare, and it's not... I mean, I don't understand why they, it couldn't have just been boots on the ground, to be quite honest. Like, I honestly don't care with multiplayer about that i i don't know i think that my least favorite advanced warfare movement system or advanced movement system was advanced warfare that was garbage i hate advanced warfare's exo movement that shit is ass that's why i don't like going back to exos not quite as simple as labeling the game good or bad so let's explore the complexity of call of duty infinite warfare Chat, I wonder if IW's always had a jetpack, if it would be good or it's bad. It's crucial to consider you know? the context I'm glad of the it didn't, though, which a game to be released. honest. Sure, we can look back now and appreciate any game for what it was, but you have to remember, during the time it came out, this came across as so out of touch with the COD fanbase. Yeah. I personally think Infinite Warfare suffered from a bad case of wrong place at the wrong time. It chat, you know what's wild? I agree. And chat, one in the chat, if you think if IW came out now, it would have way better reception from audiences. I'm actually a firm believer of that. If IW came out now, I'd be happy because I'd be like, finally, not another World War II game. Infinite Warfare would be the third futuristic Call of Duty game in a row when the future fatigue was certainly setting in with the fans. Infinite Warfare was also able to have a full three-year development cycle. So think about it this way. Black Ops. This gameplay is really time. cool, Infinity though, too. Infinity then released you know, Ghost. Black Ops 1. Not really a futuristic game, but exactly. moderately future slash modern times or whatever. As soon as Ghost released, Infinity Ward hey, this started production pretty cool, man. Infinite Warfare. In the meantime, Advanced Warfare and then Black Ops 3 subsequently release. And by that point, two more years have gone by, allowing the future fatigue to set in. Know, but guess Ops what? 1. Infinity Ward still had to release their game regardless. COD fans may have considered this out of touch for them to release another futuristic game. But again, at the time of production, that was not the I mean, community true. sentiment that was going around at all. In fact, I have a theory that if Infinite Warfare released in the place of Advanced Warfare instead, it may still have struggled, yes, but wouldn't have had nearly as poor of a reception as it did. I actually fully agree with Chop. One of the chat if you agree with him. I, I fully agree. I think Advanced Warfare was too much, and then people were upset about it then. And if IW would have came out first, I think IW could have gone down as one of the greats. Because chat, I remember everybody cared about Exo Zombie storyline. 
If IW came first, we'd be living in a whole other different timeline right now. That's so true. But it didn't really matter. In any case, I think the whole dislike bar thing and the poor reception was just angry gamers trying to send a message to Call of Duty developers and Activision that they're tired of futuristic COD stuff, true. which is fair enough. But it's not like they had the chance to fundamentally change direction on a project that they've been creating. Chat, you know what's wild years. as well? My point. Like, I actually played a lot of IWMP and I remember those maps that he's showing i actually like out of all the non like very popular cods i actually do remember iw's mp more than a lot of other games no matter the quality of the game itself it had already lost in the court of public opinion it was over before it had even released i mean Call of duty and activision even saw this coming so they slapped on modern warfare remastered as an incentive to get people to play the game because they knew otherwise nobody wanted to play this at, at back when they even cared, you know, and now they're just saying, yo, the next game is going to be great. And it's Call of Duty Vanguard. <laughs> what an L, map dude. Of all time. Like they've gone back so you know, far since this point. That love this series and a lot of them have expressed their exasperation. They wanted Infinity Ward to go back to the modern warfare kind of uh, game. What do you have to say to, to those people out there? Yeah, I feel like we have a really good offering this year. I mean, if you want to play Modern Warfare Remastered, that's coming out as well. And I mean, true. Executive producing it and working on it. So, you know, we had a team and we had a three-year development cycle and we wanted to work on... Three years, man! As I mentioned, you know, like, we all all space nuts at Infinity Ward. So Dang. I actually do think this game would have done way better in a different timeline. I really agree with that, chat. It's so sad. It actually makes me really so. sad. Interestingly enough, like, like I actually think, chat, theoretically, when I look back at every release of COD, I think IW chose the worst year to release. The worst. Like, quite literally, the worst. I don't think it could have chosen a, a much more worse date. I attended COD XP 2016 you know? in Los Angeles, and I remember clear as day, at the event, there were tent booths set up to play Infinite Warfare multiplayer early, and a different tent for COD 4 I was there. on the yep. other side of the venue. And one of these tents were dry as a bone. You could literally walk... Chat, COD XP was the first time I face-to-face -face saw Jason Wendell. It was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> it was so funny, dude. In ...and play as soon as you enter, while the other had a line wrapped around the building to play... Oh, dude. That last and then everybody else came to COD XP for the Snoop Dogg Wiz Khalifa concert. It was so funny, man. ...at any given point during the day. And I'm sure you can guess which one was more popular there. Call of Duty colon infinite wars, man. Yo, before you <laughs> to this, I say if you're in Dude, no way he did that. He's in the game. No, go back. Given point during the day. And I'm sure you can guess which one was more popular there. Call of Duty colon infinite war. How did this man get in the game? He's in Raven the Redwoods. He's the main character in Raven the Redwoods. He doesn't even know the own name of the game that he's in. This is foul. This man. Yo, before we go any deeper this into this, foul. I just want to say, if you're enjoying the video and want to see more COD reviews, I'm going to be doing one for every single title. Make sure to subscribe, as a little over 80% of you guys aren't currently subbed to the channel, and we are getting any non subbers in chat. As I go Woo! throughout the journey Let's of go. all these Call of Duty games, I'm going to be playing with you guys, you know, community members. So if you guys want to actively participate in those, you can become a channel member, and we'll play some multiplayer games together, uh, depending on the COD game I'm reviewing. So if you want to take part in that and hang out, you can feel free to do so. Otherwise, you know, have to other than that i sincerely hope you guys are enjoying the video so far and if you aren't said, sub uh, let's continue call of duty non-sub colon infinite wars man dude I, wow that is i've never infinite seen Warfare that that is so is sad what you get when a bunch of people from the film industry get involved with video games and i'm not implying i mean one true way or another on whether that's a good or bad Chat, thing. i think when cod had the most people from the film industry that was when the campaign was the best one in the chat if that's also the truth because i think this game was actually one of the last games that they did that for the campaign and ever since this game campaigns have been garbage thing just objectively that's how it's it actually was. the truth many films cinematographers writers and actors alike all played a huge part in every aspect of the game which you'll see is made abundantly clear as like well. i'm not talking about actors i'm talking about back end people like the directors like writers like hans zimmer you know what i mean along getting people like kevin smith David Hasselhoff. Kate yeah, Harrington, like I'm not talking about actors. Of no, no, not actors. Zombies, the actors literally mo-capping for the campaign and so on. 
it's yeah. very clear people in the film industry had a huge influence on how this game was handled. Now, again, whether that's a good or bad thing is entirely up to you, but it means some clear choices were made in how it handles storytelling and gameplay. Infinite Warfare's content package would see a full single-player campaign, multiplayer, of course, and zombies. And all these film guys... Chat, when was the last time COD released a full campaign, an MP, and a zombies experience that was actually, like all around good because i think iw was all around good i'm trying to think like it, it was it wasn't was it cold war yeah i guess it was cold war dang cold war feels so long ago chat to be quite honest it feels so long ago i don't know why holes in each of these pillars so let's start with where it's most appropriate to begin the single player campaign I mean, dude, I'm very interested to see this campaign because everybody's hyped this up. It's like the underrated GOAT of this game, apparently. Infinite Warfare's campaign was practically the reason people hated this game before it launched. That's all we oh, knew about. Oh, true. The yeah, setting and that the is premise also true. alone were enough to make people become disinterested in it. It looks like Halo, chat. Even play it. What a chat. This looks this like Halo. Right judgment? Is that a well, Pelican? Like Infinite Warfare's campaign story is, this? is actually a pretty mediocre premise and plot, but that's carried by super strong characters that are all well-written and extremely likable. The basic premise is that Earth is running out of precious raw materials. We have to look to space to keep Earth functioning. A faction known as the Settlement Defense Front, or SDF, is basically the barricade that prevents Earth from getting the materials IW it needs to board. sustain itself. But the motivation for the it's SDF to you. not like I'm Earth you, so is sad. pretty Damn. shaky at best. Chat, they sum it up do I go back and play it? Let me know. Like, there's I would like to. I've never gone back and played a campaign on stream. You're raised that I would do it. From Earth. Uh, I never really Dude, bought this, this like motivation, Star Wars. and it what always felt a little bit flimsy to me. The reason the oh, SDF yeah. and Earth are Connor enemies McGregor is never really clear, villain. and it's what the only heck? kind of addressed with half answers, at, at least from what I can tell. And if there is some real substantial reason why the SDF actually hates Earth, and you know why, please keep it to yourself, because I really don't care all that much. My point is, whatever the reason is, it's not made clear to the player in-game. But as far as what they I mean, could true. do, like, hey, how about this instead? Maybe we see some negotiations between Earth and the SDF. Perhaps it's cordial and things are going well, but maybe... The sad realization when IW campaign has better cutscenes than Black Ops 4 zombies. There's some kind of real personal betrayal or... <laughs> Why does this look so happens, good, man? All the parties into a revenge frenzy. What the like, hell, man? With, like, the random guy that turned the... Oh. On themselves after the this Europa looks so incident. good. The problem is it just wasn't set up very well. We don't really understand why these characters don't like each other. So it's uh, it's a little bit of a shaky premise to build off of. Why are we fighting and why would we fight in space? I don't understand. We're all on the planet Earth. Brian, why would I go fight in space? I, I think, you know, Taylor touched on it. It's that, you know, the, the future uh, we'll be fighting over. It's fine. Don't be afraid of it. Just I, who just there and okay. then just talk into it. Who like, is this man? <laughs> who is this? It's creepy. Uh, <laughs> Um, very hands-on. <laughs> yes. Um, even the guy that probably <laughs> saw the entire what was plot via his the... trail, it's never really What a weirdo. Why, he... why would, why do Call of Duty fans care so much? That's so funny. He doesn't like Earth, other than what being the... a psychopath or something. What it's not weirdo, perfect, dude. but hypothetically, that could have at least been one explanation for why they hate Earthlings besides no reason at all. You co I swear to God, yes. if you keep leaning away from that microphone. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. You... Bruh. That was hella cringe, yikes. What is the UNSA trying to destroy the SDF so that Earth can get materials? And that's pretty much it. Like, you never really get to see too much how Earth is suffering as a result of this material bleed out. So you kind of forget that's the whole reason you're fighting in the first place sometimes. But while well, the premise, plot, and motivation sometimes are here? thin what at worst and play? questionable at best, I cannot deny the game has some of the best written characters ever in a Call of Duty campaign. Which is wild. Bloom, who is also Chat. one of the lead writers. Did you guys like Advance War? Warfare's campaign, I thought that campaign was pretty shit. Advanced Warfare and Ghosts, kind of not that great. But hearing that IW has a solid campaign is wild. Raiders on the story plays I think that's Daniel awesome. Reyes, the main character. He's a Nick Navy Reyes. man who finds okay. himself in the captain's chair after the previous captain was killed off screen after the Europa incident. I didn't really remember the, the AW campaign, the to SDF. be quite honest, chat. Brian does great in this role, and he's very believable. You're rooting for him, and he's genuinely a selfless guy. Brian Bloom's personality goes very well with this character, and the whole story is told from his perspective, and the player sees everything through his eyes for the most part. He's joined by Nora Salter, played by Jamie Gray Hyder, and she's awesome in the role of Salter as well. 
who is his partner in the Navy and are practically family at this point. Their relationship as military partners and friends comes across crystal clear. They're always <laughs> looking out for each other no matter what, and will even fight and argue with one another to try to bring out the best. Chat, when was the last time IMDB was on Call of Duty, bro? <laughs> She's got I was a just heart, thinking about just that. Like, like when was that? Such easy characters we do to not know. For. They come across as actual good friends on and off screen. The dynamic of their relationship. <laughs> like literally, is what it was IW, wasn't it? What makes you care. <laughs> the supporting characters are all Jeez, great as man. well. Ethan, who's a sentient AI, he's one of the few The girl is the actress who portrays Rose in Modern Warfare. Oh, oh, dang. I felt something for in the story. I see. Most AI characters can be very hard to care about sometimes because you know at the end of the AI, day, oh they're Omega just Lowell. a bot. There's a <laughs> at the end of the day, you're just a bot, true, well, dude. But it's very difficult bot gameplay. to pull off to any real degree. But Ethan fills the comedic relief role in an otherwise very grim premise. Hey, any bots and in chat? Omar any AI? Any AI? Has beef and tension with Reyes, was this your favorite game? heads a little bit during missions, and this is mostly a result of Marine and Navy superiority, but eventually come to understand one another better, and despite their differences, they still continue to look out for one another above all else. Each character in the campaign has a distinct personality trait, and you feel like you really get to know them fairly well as the story progresses. And the main antagonist. Kimian, you thought this was anime? By, I mean, dude, uh, apparently it's got anime. You see, but the only Yo, Chop's in this, boys! Way less cool. Chop's in this mission, one! Chop, like Chop's in the campaign, boys! Let's go, man! Whoa! Chop just killed the man! Whoa, Chop, settle down, man. That, I Go back to COD Zombies. Run, even killing my own men. Just Dang, to establish Ch Chop. how intimidating and untouchable Admiral Salen Koch really is. Dang, right off the bat, you dude. establish that John no Snow's is an unmatched power game, force within the SDF. Chopper's His ship, the Olympus <laughs> Mons, is a mega starship that is feared throughout the entire Dang. space area they inhabit, with his direct goal Dang. of defeating all traces from Earth and people from it. While Admiral Chopper's Salem an asshole, is, dude, I know, right? Look at that footage, bro. Villains we've seen over the Base years. Kit Harrington does great in the role, and it looks like he's really enjoying it. Dude, in fact, you can tell how old is this footage? He looks so young, bro. <laughs> how much dude. passion everyone's putting into the performances. He looks so young. And they all look like they're having a great time as well. Now, the gameplay structure of the campaign is a little different compared to what was standard at the time. While at its core, it's still a linear story being told, there are elements of control we previously didn't have before. As Captain Reyes, you exercise control over the pace of the game to some degree. Dude, what? You, as the player, are Chat, this doesn't even look like Call of Duty. See, this is what I mean, man. Like, I love these type of elements. Like, if you were to show me a screenshot like this, I'd be like, there's no way this is Call of Duty. You take. This How is you take wild. What the heck? Order. You can also take breaks in between, you know, missions to explore your ship, the retribution, this is not Call of Duty, and really man. let the world soak in a little bit. I have to say, the set pieces and locations. I mean, are yeah, incredible. it looks amazing. I know COD Ghost did space combat missions first, but but not I like say this. Infinite dude. Warfare did them much better. I agree. There's more depth to the space mechanics, and it's a lot more free flowing while still retaining the core gameplay loop. And speaking of Ghost. Infinite Warfare has some of the best dialogue between characters during and after missions I've ever seen really? in a campaign. Wow. But humanoid, third revision. It's a mouthful. You ain't kidding. Call me Ethan, ma'am. What are your orders? I'm assigned to retribution, reporting to Captain Alder. Program for combat? Thoroughly, ma'am. Born to kill. You look like you can kick some serious ass. <laughs> some Call of Duty language. Compared to Ghost, I mean, with dang, the worst, actually most interesting, and embarrassing. Yeah, dialogue Ghost ever dialogue is garbage. He called them ghosts, and this really happened. So the legend goes. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Yeah, I do. <laughs> In Infinite Warfare, they also uh, worked with. It is sad to think that there is a worse Call of Duty now than Call of Duty Ghosts. That is really fucking depressing. Real life Navy and Marines to make sure that the dialogue and tactics that they use were technically sound as well. And you can tell in how the game's written, the characters speak in military jargon the majority of the time. Get ready, transport set for evac. I want our casualties outbound right away. I mean, it sounds I'm legit. It doesn't sound forced. Project. Hey chat, and so the legend the goes. The game doesn't feel the need to oversimplify what's being conveyed. And so the they Call of Duty legend goes. Factly, and it's not a cringy, dare I say it, Hollywood way of writing things. How many true? Our dad's down there, and we're not leaving without him. That's real admirable view. But your father's not there anymore. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that 
so bad, bro. <laughs> Since you now have so what much control the hell? Over missions my and dad, dude. Them, inevitably, this is my there dad. are going to be some side missions and content that aren't as strong. <laughs> Why is Joe such a bad game, dude? Completely optional and do not affect the ultimate outcome of the game. This is my dad, but they do yeah. help illustrate the world and the context that the game is writing on. The gameplay quality of these side missions can definitely vary. The flight missions are actually okay usually, and there's more depth to the flight mechanics in this game compared to, say, something like Black Ops 2. While, again, they aren't necessary, they do a good job at giving the player choice if they want to spend... Chad, you guys like IWs or Advanced Warfare's movement more? Repetitive and For me, always IW, don't man. Need to play these I like this movement way better. The outcome. Yeah, the slow down in pace. I thought it was way better. Time for the world to breathe a little bit in between missions. It felt more like BL3 about this campaign. It's during these moments the characters have small talk, little character moments, and interactions that make you appreciate the characters that much more. There's a little Easter egg apparently uh, in Jamie Gray Hyder was always eating snacks on set, so they worked in a small snack bar into her fighter jet just as a little character Easter egg trait thing. It's Dang. clever and, and something that's fun. And there's wow, a bunch of that stuff throughout the world if you're paying lore. attention oh enough. My the main missions are all very well executed though. The create a class system also returns Chat, allowing you to choose. I'm gonna the say it. I think IW has some of the best weapons in Call of Duty. I think that's an underrated opinion, to be quite honest. I think like a lot of the guns in IW are really well made. Like they have like the quick scoping mechanics from Modern Warfare 2, literally. They're strong, they're powerful, they look different. They're cool. It's just they're not real. That's the only problem, man. Here, and while this one does feel a little more weighted compared to the Black Ops 2 campaign, weaponry still doesn't mean a whole lot other than if you're primarily fighting humans or robots. Humans are more prone to ballistic weapons in this game, and robots are more weak to energy-based weapons, which is a pretty neat detail, but other than that, the creative class is still kind of hollow. I give this game points for excellent world building and extremely unique set pieces. There's a mission in which I agree. you land on a small asteroid, and its rotation and proximity to the like, sun look at means this. that you have to be in shielded areas or in the shade if you want to move. Otherwise, you'll burn to death in the full force of the sun. Obviously, That's you can nitpick the science of that, but it would be missing the point if you did. It's such a fun concept on its own. Best map map I mean, yeah, it's cool that they actually exercise it. Set Thank you, Toki, man. That carry the campaign almost as hard as the characters do. When you reach the point in the rather campaign be part where of you Mr. finally Jolly have to kill me, family, it's a satisfying moment, but the fight isn't over. To fully defeat Chop, the SDF, Chop's the station dead. No. has to be destroyed. Chop's dead. Individual sacrifices Chopper made. died. Each character dies no. in service of the ultimate goal. Chopper, Even no. Ethan and Reyes in the last mission give it all no. up to finish the job. Salt has to overcome wanting to protect Reyes and finish the mission, mm. even if it costs him his life. I can it's take his sad viewers. seeing Reyes sacrifice himself for the mission. And God, I actually really like, like the somewhat unceremonious way viewers. he dies as well. This game earns Bruh, its Bruh, that looks so sick. That footage, wow. With the glass. So I know you can, Marine. We're gonna get you back out there in no time. Brooks, where's that med kit? Let's go! Bruh, this is sad. Dang. Is that range, sir? Dang! Instead of having very forced... I'm shot. What the heck? What is this? Hey, guys. Is this Vanguard? Oh no. Don't everybody rush over at once. And <laughs> shut up! With the Wait, that was Vanguard? What an L, dude. The idea wow, is what gripping the dialogue. No the cost. And Reyes and Salter even argue back and forth about this concept. It ends up costing Reyes so life sad, in the end bro. so that Nora could live. It's a story that even the most cynical part of me can't be too critical about. Sure, there are some. You said Ghost was bad, bro. I've never played Vanguard, bro. Always sound, but it's a nice story with some of the best characters to carry it the whole way through. Like I often say, I criticize COD campaigns for being glorified interactive movies, and when the story sucks and the characters suck, I hate it for that. But I mean, in of this course, particular yeah. case, it's so well done and executed. Dude, the I set pieces on this game are wild. Thing. Look at the, at the day, gameplay. You can feel how much Jeez. effort went into the single player mode, and everyone did great wow. in their performances and despite some never acting in video games prior to this one, they all look like they got something great out of it and just genuinely had fun I mean, it's basically it just acting and with the suit on. It, That's so what video gaming is. I think they is. succeeded insofar as the single-player story goes. Like, dude, this footage looks amazing. Chat, any MP lovers for IW? I didn't play it a lot, but I did play the beta a lot, and I enjoyed it. I like the beta.
It's pretty fun. Okay, so unfortunately, the multiplayer element is where Infinite Warfare starts to fall apart a little bit. I didn't me. play it during this the game, though. I think the beta the was more fun than the game. A recycled and watered down version of Black Ops 3's multiplayer. True. Think about it this way: Advanced Warfare said, "Hey, we're breaking the rules oh, of look, traditional look, COD look movement." Look at this fucking ugly. Look at this fucking ugly gameplay. Look at how ugly this is, bro. Jetpack, and it was a new. Why does this look so bad? Idea to COD at the time. Still very primitive and unrefined, however, I might add. It looks like Play-Doh, dude. Ops 3 took that concept and said, hey, we're going to refine this. Do something a bit different and make it into our own the style. The homie! Giving you the ability to control the movement a bit better and also the ability to wall run and so on. Felt like a genuine progression of what AW brought to the table. Infinite Warfare just said, copy Black Ops. The real question homework, is, how did Chop get Advanced Warfare MP footage in 2022? That footage is definitely eight years old, Kingman. Make it obvious. So it's mostly that issue, and also for some reason, a completely unnecessary amount of artificial depth in its systems, which I'll explain. So to begin, let me start out with the things that I dislike about Infinite Warfare's multiplayer before I discuss the things that I do like. Firstly, the specialists Shout out of 10. quite literally feel just copy. Oh, specialists from sucks. Like yeah, they Virtually suck. The and they're not, they have no personality. They're almost they one suck. I agree. They're so they're garbage. Per se. they, and they work as no, they they're should. so bland. Is, it's just they're rehab. nothing like it's BO3s, the man. I take they're so bland. Player, and to a lesser extent, BO3s as well. The choice of specialist, besides the main weapon or ability you get, doesn't really matter in how you play a match or against other certain characters. In Infinite Warfare, they try to do this thing with their special... Why is the Venom X in multiplayer? What, what is going on? ...list that includes some kind of bonus huh? perk that you can select, you know, one of three to differentiate your What's play going style, on here? even if, hypothetically, you're running the same character. Problem is, they're very minor changes to your own character, and the opponent doesn't or can't know which trait you picked. And it fundamentally oh, true. doesn't change yeah, the everybody looks the same. of people running around and shooting each other at all. Yeah, the only I real agree. thing that has a tangible effect on your gameplay, like I said, is the specialist weapon or ability itself. Everything additional they tried to add on top of that is just kind of pointless. The viable This map sucked on IW. I hated this map. One in the chat. This map was garbage. Feels down to really so just a bad. Of weapons in the game. Just such a L reason, map. Infinity Ward's last two games, including this, have this had map a was problem so with an bad. dominated meta. Such and a donkey me, there's map. There's plenty of variants for it too, and that goes for nearly everything in the game. Its artificial depth is what I call it. There's admittedly a ton of neat perk and equipment and specialist interactions theoretically, and on paper, this game should have some real tangible depth. Also, on reading the MP HUD is kind of garbage. Look at how big everything is. Look, I'm going to take on my webcam. Look at the radar. Why is it so but big? My experience both when the game launched in 2016 this and even now in 2022 I'm not even gonna lie. is it that is nothing bad. of the sort really changed the core gameplay all that much. People basically play multiplayer the exact same way every time, regardless of character, ability, or traits. They will go to wow, the same that sounds spot. Wow, like, that sounds like BO4 zombies. <laughs> they play the exact same way, putting stamina up on the modifier every time time man move the same way every and time the same way regardless as well and it's amplified further by the fact that this game has weapon variants and for those unfamiliar because we haven't seen them in cod in a while wait chat was this game pay to win there wasn't it wasn't pay to win was it or was it i can't remember this weapon that you could acquire via supply drops with stat changing effects now oh, it was pay to win wasn't nearly as egregious as advanced warfare oh in that game, you could acquire guns with just literally more damage and a faster time to kill. I don't remember this. Oh, dang. Infinite Warfare's variants are a bit more subtle. Maybe you spawn in with an extra magazine or something, or oh, maybe hitting well, an I enemy mean, okay. on the I mean, it's still a, an advantage, though. It's also not obvious what your enemy's variants even do when you <laughs> what get the? killed by them in-game. Homie in the grass. have that gun or can remember what it does because you looked at the symbol in the menu beforehand and you recognize it. They wanted to I mean, make yeah. variants not too game-altering like AW, and that's fair enough. But I think the implementation and acquisition of variants is still very sloppy. Technically, that is the worst radical I've ever salvage seen. And Yo! Don't even get Pack opening, boys! Cup. Let's this go! This game had the most grindy and unrewarding currency collection I've seen 
possibly in the video best games map ever. Of all time. The yeah, it was pretty bad. Exist, but it's different. wild that it kind of did work for zombies. It was pretty good in zombies. However, I think the key rate, like every other COD game, Average for Liquid Vinium and Napoleon should have been money way up. Joke. Way People more. dog on Call of Duty now, myself included, for being money grubbing with their store bundles, being insanely overpriced. But, but it's this been in the game. essentially just as bad, if not worse. worse. Yep. At least in modern COD, you can outright buy what you want, and that wasn't a guarantee in this game. Yep. Both systems suck, but it's a good example of how times have changed in the game. That's why I'm saying, chat, money will never leave Call of Duty. The best route is literally make it like CSGO. Make it so people can buy and sell skins. Please. That is how you fix it. Infinite Warfare, for some reason, felt the need to make everything have variants, including score streaks. Now, I've not even talked about the base score streaks yet, because honestly, there isn't much to say. They feel like watered-down, rehashed versions of Black Ops. Actually, I started streaming about two years ago and still get no viewers. Any tips? Don't stream Call of Duty Zombies. So, score streaks. And if you're that's, that's those, my tip to you. And also, start on YouTube. Points, don't stream. By that point, they start were on YouTube. kind of tired and played out in this game. To be fair, there is a nuke kill streak as well, but only if you have the nuke variant on your gun. Bro, really? It's kind of rehashed. In I this didn't game. even know but that. Getting back to score streak variants. So let me give you an example. I had the no UAB idea that was a thing. It has a few different versions. One of them lasts longer, but is more resilient to damage. One of them has a shorter lifespan, Black but is resistant from to rockets and so on. Just different attributes that make the streak behave somewhat differently, right? So what's the big problem? They're not all the same attributes, but each streak has variants like this. And again, the only way Dude, to know what kind of streak it that is. That super Easter egg camel, this one is one of the best camels in COD Zombies. It's so good. And you get it, I think, for doing the super Easter egg, I believe. This and potentially what its weaknesses are it's and so how to beat it. Good, you can man. only know if you somehow remember the name of that variant or you have it yourself. It's not clear to a new player what a UAV pack rat means. It's a good <laughs> idea, I guess, but again, what is a very that name? sloppy implementation. Yo, any really pack rat lovers, boys? In score streak variants, UAV pack rat. Wait, what? Perceived amount of what real content, and of course, to push supply huh? drop purchases. It's kind of sinister when I think about it that I way. I know that does but sound like a Besides that, name. Uh, the maps are also kind of bland. I'll admit there are a few exceptions, but for the most part, they are the most generic and forgettable COD maps. Perhaps Perhaps Infinity Ward has ever produced. Dang. The maps also don't allow for any real creativity within the movement. It's still very cookie cutter the way you have to traverse the map, despite yeah. them making the illusion of depth. The maps struggle a little bit with the systems the game wants to have. I also there's agree like with this. I don't think there's been a futuristic COD game that has really made the maps work with their systems. I think the maps could be so much more different, you know? Too memorable they make them too Call of Duty. Game. I do actually like the throwback map, and I, I, I kind of like, um, I, I don't know, this one. And even then, <laughs> Yo, the Terminal? Yo, yeah, 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 bro. Ultra clean. BL3, AI I think, was the closest to do it. No I agree. BL3 did it the, the best. The remakes they did have don't play all that well either. Warhawk from Ghost Returns, but slap advanced from who? into that map, and it's as unbalanced and incredibly awkward who? as you can imagine. Rust from MW2 is reworked to a Oh, I forgot system, they put this but in here. feels very foreign and just doesn't Dude, this gel does well not with look like Rust. What the? Resistance from MW3 came back, but this is practically uh, a one-to-one -one remake. OG and just map, feels bro. so strange with IW's movement. Yeah, this doesn't even and look And above all else, real. the gunplay just feels so unsatisfying in this game. There's this indescribable feeling when getting a kill in COD multiplayer that feels some type of way. And you may not be able to explain it, but you all know what I'm talking about. I think about. it's just because you're playing with fake feel guns. More satisfying per kill That's than why. Other games. But I this agree with this. Theory, but I, I, I agree with this. I think it has a lot to do with how the kill pop ups look and sound. And that yeah, too. MW2. There's a lot of sound is amazing. This meaty sound. Yeah. And a giant dude. yellow pop up. It's like very apparent and even over the top. At True. Times. Infinite Warfare. I think we need to go back to that. Dude, Modern Warfare 2 getting a kill, there was something so gratifying. Yeah, I agree. A lot of uh, newer CODs just haven't hit that same level. Also on COD Modern Warfare 2, when you get shot, your screen gets so bloody too. Like it really makes you feel like you're about to die. These pop-ups are like so minimal and clean. I get it fits with the aesthetic of the game, but it's so small and faint sometimes, I don't even see if I got, got the kill until a second or two later. True. I'm speculating, of course, but something about this game's gunplay just wasn't really doing it for me. 
The time to kill is so unbelievably fast, you don't even have time to have real gunfights in this game a whole lot. It's a matter of who sees each other first, generally speaking, as well. All of these uh, intended systems for MP first, die probably first, would work beat. a bit better if the health was just a tad higher. And yeah, the, the time to kill looks really short. And the gunplay wasn't He's just quite melting so everyone. I think it could actually work okay. I'm not saying that's a bad thing in its current implementation exactly, but it does make those systems kind of irrelevant. All that being said, there are some things I really like about Infinite Warfare's multiplayer. I really do like the movement, and I've gone on record multiple times. I'm a big fan of jetpack movement in COD. I'm just going to say it. But again, it's this one. I like IW and BO3. I think anything more than that is kind of not fun. He hashed from Black Ops 3. I really think the color palette in this game is also excellent. It's got just enough color to keep the game. Yeah, it's actually a really colorful game. IW is quite a colorful game. Or silly. I agree. I also like how the leaderboards work, and I, I mean just literally the in-game ones. I can see both my kills and deaths. Hell, in the lobby, you can just see everyone's KD, win-loss ratio, and other stats flat out without Dang. looking in. I have to say, that's something that drives me insane. That is not like, games. yeah, that's I not a thing anymore. I can't see my deaths and other important stats. And you can debate about why they removed that stat tracker, but it's just kind of impractical if you ask me. I like how Infinite I agree. Warfare also has both. The emblems in this game suck, though. They were so bad. But you could make a custom emblem, though. Pre-packaged emblems that you can get, and also an emblem the editor. The pre-packaged emblems very happy sucked. to see the system return in a Chat, emblem editors need to come back. But will we ever get an emblem editor without penis and boobies? I don't know, dude. Penis and boobies reign supreme on custom editors. I mean, dude, it's so sad that, like, chat, because I remember talking to, like, some homies at Treyarch, and they were like, I was asking, are you guys going to bring, like, a custom emblem back? Custom emblem editor back? And they said, no. Penis and boobies exist. Come on, penis and boobies. Don't exist for one second, man. Hot project. I really like Let me how get my custom editor back. streaks and specialist systems are supposed to interact and play out, and it's cool when they do, admittedly. It's just a very rare occurrence for that to ever happen. In the case of good multiplayers, they really feel like they're at least trying to do their own thing. I just don't really get that sense with this one, and the player count during the life cycle of this game certainly reflected that as well. But all things considered, I don't have too much else to say about this game's MP. It's like they took the gunplay of Ghost fundamentally and stole Black Ops 3's movement and called it a day. Quite it literally. It doesn't feel yeah. like it has much personality That's or very identity similar. on its yeah. own. Even the announcers are really generic and boring. Team Deathmatch. <laughs> Team Deathmatch. I know, right? Like, you can literally hear the Call difference. Duty, colon, infinite wars, hey, Jack, Call of Duty colon Infinite War, boys. It's probably the most forgettable COD aspect of Infinite Warfare. I agree. Like Sound I said, design I is exactly so bad on a lot it, of modern it's games. It's not one of the more notable Call of Duty multiplayers by a long Team shot. Death but that's match. okay, because if the campaign for some reason wasn't doing it for you, and if the multiplayer wasn't doing it Whoa. for you, this still had one more giant what was it, chat? Uh, what was it? content to offer. What was it? That, of course, being zombies. No, dude, I didn't play this chat. One of the chat if you play this. I didn't play this. Never played Infinite this. Warfare Zombies was truly something else. At the it really was. At the time of release, if you could detach the mode from the rest of the game, I remember this getting a moderately positive response, and myself, I did quite like it on launch. Admittedly, Chat, I still- I remember on launch saying that this map was better than Revelations, and I still believe it, and I still agree. I genuinely still, to this day, believe that Spaceland is a better map than Revelations. And we got Garrod, Revelations, and Spaceland all in a three months time period. That well, was the craziest thing Black about Ops this game. Zombies, but it just had the unfortunate task to follow directly after the super serious and beloved BO3 zombies. Yeah. However, in some ways, I think IW zombies is still fairly comparable to BO3 in more ways than one. I agree. And I mean that in both good and bad in ways. In gameplay so and bad. Yep. get down to brass tacks, this is another pillar of the game where you can tell the producers were all massive fans of film. Just boys, a big W in the chat for Mr. Lee Ross. Without this man, IW zombies would not be anywhere near as good. 
That is the sole reason that this game mode was almost as good as BL3. If it just had better maps, IW is very similar to Cold War in a lot of guards. If it just had a better map system, like if there were just better maps on the game that were more fun to come back to, it would be a great game. And this pro project was primarily directed by Lee Ross. Lee My Ross homie, even went let's so go. To get a film celebrity for shout out to maps. the man, David Hasselhoff for Spaceland, Kevin Smith for Raven the Redwoods, Pam Greer for Shallon Shuffle, and Elvira for Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Help F chat, Ellen chat for Pam, Ellen chat for Pam. She took me away, boys. Ellen chat for Pam. Well, they even got your boy Pee Wee Herman to play Yo, Willow no Wilder, the game's dude. man antagonist. This was a direct Pam let me down on the boss fight and personality She's an right away into each map, if nothing else. You directly associate that celebrity with their map. Even the entire premise I mean, of true. this zombie storyline was about the chat. Why did Cold War not do that? Why was there not a celebrity for every Cold War zombies map? We do not know. That was such a smart idea. Whoever did that. What a legend, man. Four characters being transported into a film in real life and having to escape that film only to be transported to a new one with Willard Weiler pulling the strings the whole time. There's a plethora of... It's also sad, chat, because IW cutscenes are still better than BO4, which is really sad, too. ...references throughout the entirety of this game, and it's incredibly inspired in that sense. Not only that, but there's also just great music that plays in certain areas of the map that's just too hard to not find charming. I mean, Shaolin is a fun map. It's just extremely the difficult. War zombies and even Vanguard, if you can consider that, is that a lot of the maps themselves feel bland or samey. Same. Even if the yeah, gameplay uh, systems exactly are good, and sometimes they're not, I can see <laughs> where that's coming from. You know, Yo, you, who? Like, you have bad guy military base number one or bad guy military number base two, number two. Or number IW, three or number four. To a 90s slasher movie swamp, to a downtown city and dojo, to a 50s monster movie, to uh, whatever this is. I just, like, the thing is, is it could have been a little bit more interesting, to be quite honest. Like, the DLC cycle of IW was not that great, in my opinion. I don't know. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, the non-zombies uh, game. You know, uh, you know um, but my we like point the is, In a vacuum, each map is distinct for very clear reasons. They all have a different tone and feel to them. Before I mean, we get true. to the maps in great detail, let's look at some of the systems the game has to offer. Firstly, IW basically did the elixir system first with fate. Chat, IW cards or BO4 elixirs every single time. If anybody asks you that question, it's IW cards. Cards were so good. You actually want to use them. They're so much fun. Fortune man. Card. Well, again, on they paper, were I have no really problem with this. well I've done. I've already went into painful. I'm shocked at how good this system why was. Gums and Bo3 are the superior system. But again, Gums will always be better. Cards are bad. Yeah, I agree. They're just a worse version of the previous one. I agree. But the cards are detailed fire, explanation as to man. why. I'd recommend watching my Black Ops 4 video. Anyways, the FNF cards certainly added a little something to this experience. While not in as nearly as interesting as Gobble Gums, they're a very welcome change. I agree. Also, IW would see the addition of weapon variants into zombies for the first time ever now here's where i make a distinction about these i'm i'm more okay with variants of guns in zombies because number one you're not having to actively play against them like in a pvp situation. i hardly use and cards idky listen chat i used cards way more than i did elixirs dude elixirs are garbage like it, it is i just don't like the way elixirs are like it, it doesn't make sense how elixirs also take up much more of the HUD than cards. Like, the cards HUD was amazing. They literally put it around the circle where all of the information is on the bottom right. Like, so genius, man. And they're also such minor benefits that they hardly even matter in zombies at all. Yeah, in the fact, variants some suck. That literally I don't agree. even work in zombies. And there's I, like I, I two like good that. ones. It's and then not that's like about having it. Having a good variant of a gun automatically makes you a good player or will carry you compared to somebody who does for some of the easter eggs you literally need these variants though that's the problem how much plasma do you have i mean like chat i just don't care to about have that particular William. variant in William. fact i kind of forgot zombies weapon variants existed until revisiting this game 
fundamentally, what I like about IW systems is that True. even in the face I, I of about FNF two. cards and weapon variants, the game still has a very high emphasis on player skill and decision making. Which very I'll true. Soon, yeah, it's not just pop and reactions a gobble are gobble. still fundamentally integral to the core gameplay, which I give it tons of points for. But IW also broke new ground by giving us the first real big super Easter egg reward. Yeah, I like how you could grind for most of the variants. I agree too. Main Easter that was an egg, amazing. You can now play way. in something that's known as director's like spot. chat it's iw almost had my idea with different variants that you could get if only they you could unlock them by doing the easter eggs it, iw was so close man and if you could trade them and have like different rarities and like different skin variants and like it would have been game over man it would have been game over on round one would have been too good in a game and twenty five thousand and director's to go wild. cut is still this the best super does strike. break the game yes still but considering you have to do the work of each main quest and boss fight normally to get there you've kind of earned it if you ask me there's I also agree. some neat secret inputs you can all do the at the select twice. screen of a map to play as the celebrity character and this gives you a totally different set of character quotes and melee animations and so on now playing as a celebrity isn't always ideal <laughs> Now it does make people happy. Yo, chill. What'd you just say? Wait, what? What did you just say? We're rewinding this. And so on. Now, playing as a celebrity isn't always ideal. See, Magic Wheel? Putting out does make people happy. Hell no. Yo, chill. What'd you just say? Chill out, girl. See, Magic Wheel? Putting out does make people happy. Twice in a row? Hell no. Dude. Are you just gonna, Hell you gonna say that no. again? What's going on? Is it gonna be a third time? Are you good? Oh my god. Attack of the radioactive thing was a mistake. Can you stop, please? Stop. I'm gonna say it, chat. Attack, one of the chats who grew this. Attack of the radioactive thing is the Alpha Omega of IW Zombie. <laughs> it literally is. It's DLC 3. It's literally the Alpha Omega of this game. It's so relax, bad. Okay? It's, it's not that serious. All right, can you, can you, can you dude? Shut up, Elvira. Oh my gosh. But again, I mean, they just the grabbed the wrong something special to celebs. each map. But with the general systems covered, let's get into maps a little bit. Chad, now, who's I this celebrity on right Alpha Omega? Bat, Spaceland is the best map in Infinite Warfare Amen. Zombies as Amen. far as design, yes, layout, sir. and overall content yes, sir. offered and how tightly crafted yes, sir. it all is. Spaceland was peak in terms of having a Ted, layout that made sense. It follows the classic Duris formula with the central hub with Pack-a-Punch and, you know... Chat, you know what map is so similar to Spaceland in terms of layout? I don't think you guys are going to believe this, but it, it's literally, literally almost the exact same. Chat, Spaceland and Garod are almost identical in layout. It's literally, there's a main hub and you go right or you go left or you go forward. Like, Spaceland is literally another version of Garod, which is why I love it so much. few areas to its left and right, and they're a bit it's more not, expanded. I, I wouldn't than... say Shadows, because it's more similar to Garod, where it's literally a left, right, and a forward. Shadows is not really like a left, right, and a forward. It's more like, Shadows reminds me more of like a triangle, whereas Spaceland and Garod reminds me more of a cross. You know what I'm saying? The original formula intended, but the map is still very easy to traverse. The portals are perfectly placed and you can get from one place to another in no time if you know where to go. And there's some super unique traps and parts of the map to interact with. Each area is distinctly I themed love and labeled line, so that communication is map. pretty straightforward and each area has an identity so you know where to go. There's machines around the maps that you can add coins to and make special gear and traps. This was a neat system, sort of like the Zetsubo plants and the different colors of water, but way more intuitive and rewarding. Spaceland also has everything I love in a main easter egg. It managed to be difficult without being tedious. The challenge is always within the actual gameplay and it's expertly done. Even crafting the wonder weapons. My only complaint about Spaceland is the wonder weapons suck dick. I wish they were buffed. I would, cause like, I love how they went back in Cold War after all the maps were released and they just buffed all the dies. 
That was amazing. Literally, Spaceland needed that so bad. Eighty space laser and the Wonder Weapons. And this map would have been literally so good. Do. The boss fight of the map is spectacular as well. You battle a blue alien from a UFO that descends into the park, and you need to remove two fuses from its back. It's way easier said than done, as the alien himself. I and know, the and the, th this is one of the hardest boss fights of mistakes. in zombies. In fact, some I of really you have may to remember agree. this boss fight had to be nerfed and toned yeah. down in difficulty. It is literally one of the hardest boss fights weeks of the game, like, easily, because it was way too brutal and challenging for most people. Even after the nerf, however, the boss fight is still a fair challenge even to this day. And again, it's hard without it's really being super unfair. super difficult. If yeah. you die, you know exactly where you messed up and what you did wrong. Yeah. And you generally it's a great blame boss yourself fight. and not the it's game, a great boss which is fight. always a great sign to me. And if you're not actively doing the main quest, it's still a great map just to jump in and shoot zombies on. Or do side easter eggs like Ghost and Skulls, which in all honesty is kind of a main easter egg on its own. This Dude, Ghosts and Skulls are literally a whole main easter egg, yeah, I agree. Where they played with an alternate form of currency, this time in the form of theme park tickets. You can get these tickets from regular gameplay, you know, playing Chat, games I'm going to say it. IW Zombies had the most side content of any Zombies mode, period. Period. Every map essentially had two Easter eggs with Ghosts and Skulls, plus all these actual other side Easter eggs, plus playable characters, plus Director's Cut. Like, easily, easily the most side so content on, of but all the time tickets can be redeemed for prizes and weapons behind the desk at the arcade it's actually part of getting and upgrading the wonder weapons as well and for some reason it's insane how much content this concept these of maps alternate had. currency as the dlc season went on for unknown reasons there's just enough in the map to really feel like it's being its own thing this True. is certainly a case of lee ross and infinity ward having a vision and being able to execute let's it to go, the best lee. possible let's degree. go as an on disc map you can Dubs tell where this is the lee, most man. amount of care attention to detail and otherwise let's love go went into Big which for a lot of zombies titles and especially this is true for non-treyarch they sir. always peak with their on disc map yeah but on disc is almost always the best other than space... chat imagine your on disc map is vanguard's duron <laughs> duron fong as you're on is shut up dude turn it job, off and i have very few critiques at all of this Foul, map. it's man. beloved still by most of the it's community disgusting. now where spaceland is generally their favorite iw map so i'm, I'm not even going to get into my criticisms a whole lot because they're uh, they are very minor map, unfortunately bro. however in terms of that super tight design attention to detail and just great gameplay that doesn't last forever sadly and the maps would begin to drop in quality a little bit as the I season know. progresses. i wish the season pass was more DLC fun one, raven the redwoods rave was chat DLC does anyone one, like uh, rave more than spaceland I know there are some in my chat, but I just don't understand it. I think this map was a disappointment compared to Spaceland, but I still think it's fun. It's more simplistic, so I guess if people like the simple maps, I can understand why people like this more than Spaceland. I always Land. feel a game really needs to nail it with DLC. But I think the layout on this map is kind of, of not that fun. And it kind of sets the tone going forward, and to IW's disdain... I don't think they really nailed it with this one. Uh, I, this I agree. This is set in a 90s slasher movie camp and swamp. A very recognizable and unique locale, and it tried a lot of what Spaceland did so well, but I think just fumbled the execution. I agree. I don't think they should have the recreated Spaceland. Discuss what's good. Because chat, if you look at how and listen to how the devs created Black Ops Three, it was like, okay, we're starting from scratch every zombies map, which is the way they made absolute bangers on that game. Does bro. Not have That's the way it needs to be. Pack -a -punch. It needs to be an original one, idea to every to time. To get to Kevin Smith on an island, and in the most exciting sequence since the dragons in Garad Krovi, you make your way over there. <laughs> yo! Yo, no way! Boo! Yo! This is the craziest game I've ever seen! Oh my gosh! He just turned slight. Oh, dude, look at this footage. He's going to lay. Oh, my gosh. Did you just see that? Bro, there's no way. Is he almost at the island yet? Dude, that's it. Infinite War. 
stars. Man. Dude, the map to me has a bit more of, of a sloppy layout than Space Land, and there's a pretty substantial amount of wasted space. The areas don't really feel as there is a lot Lands of wasted either, space in Rave. I agree player, with that. You might find yourself getting lost a lot or backtracking quite a bit because of its clunky layout. The Wonder Weapons are also another iteration of that, you know, classic four elemental Wonder Weapon formula that by this point we've gotten very used to. This time in the form of a cross. I think they did a to pretty fair, good. These are all pretty on interesting Rave. and unique. Yeah, the they did a pretty good. It's actually a lot of fun. But Better there than is a lot a by of far other superior maps. one. And also, for some reason, you know how in classic zombies dog rounds, it would say fetch me their souls because, you know, they're, they're dogs? Well, they literally say fetch me their souls in, in these maps too. Really? Oh, I do Even remember that. Not dogs, and it makes no sense yeah, given that context. Yeah, it really doesn't make kind any of found sense. That funny. Yeah, as that far is as true. The main I never realized goes, that. It involves you collecting Chat, how many pixels? photos of Kevin and Jay as he gives you exposition about their friendship. Give me the Technically number. Technically speaking, this entire Easter egg can be done. What's on wrong with the layout? There's just a lot of extra space that you don't use in this map. I really agree with Chop's point. There's so many areas on this map where it's just space. That is just like, what is this for? You really wanted to. It's the same simple premise as Spaceland as far as the steps go, but it lacks the real challenge. I felt like Spaceland did so well. This one just How didn't many look quite as tightly crafted Too as many. the previous like map. 20. The boss fight is also far less interesting, in my opinion. Yeah, the in boss fight is pretty slow. that even Ray Charles could see coming, you find out Shout that out Kevin Smith is indeed the super slasher, no, no and way. he morphs into the massive boy that you fight throughout this uh, entire boss fight. I'm okay with this as a concept, and it's the gameplay of the boss fight that I feel is... Yeah, the gameplay dull. is a little bit You need bit to fill boring. up two soul boxes to create a cleansing circle, Yo, and escape boxes? rave mode, and then deal real damage to the slasher was this My map based off of friday the, the 13th boss isn't that much chat i think this map came out before friday the 13th i'm pretty sure of a threat like the alien was in spaceland i mean also, true it's more that is true he than should have gated compared to other fights even if you're ultra efficient realistically you're probably not going to finish this fight in under 10 minutes like not the film chat the game the the friday the 13th game Yeah, it was then. It's, yeah, that's what uh, I was Because saying. there's just basically some sequences you have to wait for. And they can it get was the a same little year? bit repetitive oh, and wow. certainly drag on a little bit. But it's not a terrible I mean, maybe that's fight, but it's very then. middle of the road or average to me. It is but pretty those are my only real issues with tier. Rave. I really do like the atmosphere of the map. It's got a lot of character, and Rave Mode as a concept is super interesting, and I think they made great use if out of it. only it, it looked map. good on Twitch.tv. Uh, the fact that the slasher only appears in Rave Mode, and in most circumstances, can only, you can only get killed by him. Chat, one of the chat, if you enjoyed go, me playing the IW Super Easter Egg. Honestly, I like IW's gameplay system. It's fun going back and doing the Easter Eggs. It's a good game. It is a good game. It's hilarious I'm not going to lie. There's some great it's just, secret it been messages in Way map. better. And they're sure. kind of hard to get some of them, but you can find a pacifier, for example, that tells the story of Willard Wyler's daughter being killed by the slasher, and you get to figure out, like, why Willard Wyler is as evil as he is. It's just a neat story that helps illustrate the map in the true. greater context a little bit better. But like I said, while it's not nearly as expertly made as Spaceland, it still feels like it had its own Dude, ideas. Dude, he just even deleted today, it. Oh my play, gosh. With that being said, that That's will bring us to foul. DLC what did I just look Shaolin at? Shuffle. Oh god. Shaolin chat is not <sighs> this it. Map. This <laughs> map. <laughs> I have very mixed feelings about it. On the this one map hand, is I can appreciate the it. hard shift in direction as far as Easter eggs go with this one, but also this map is where you can clearly tell they were just slapping parts of it together, and I'm not exactly Yo, sure. Oh my homie, it's, it's the rat! So Woo! In any case, though, yeah. Charm and some I love like that guy. Great, but it's definitely got its pain points too. So let's start with what I do like. Firstly, the setting and atmosphere are phenomenal. Being downtown and able to traverse... Cha the I actually way. think I like Shaolin's layout more than Raves because it feels more interconnected. Like, I think the teleporters are good. However, I don't like the way you open up the teleporters. And I also think this Easter egg is really annoying. Nightclub, and the boss fight so is also annoying, annoying this too. Map has a very and the ninjas are annoying. Which is it's nice. just an annoying and map in a lot of regards. of the main Easter egg I enjoy, but other parts of it I hate. It's, so it's really annoying, bag. yeah. Uh, the boss fight itself has its 
problems as well, but yeah. it at least is decent fun to play over and over again. I like how during the main East Strike, it's, it's just kind of chills in her area and gives you hints about maybe what you should Pam do. Pam is the biggest elbow so on this map. You, you heard do. it here first. So you still got to go and find it, which is which is fun enough. But you have she didn't revive me in the boss fight. Nice. I like how there's a step in the main Easter egg where the film crashes during a certain step. Yeah, that's one of my favorite steps. It's a cool step. That's that's kind of fun. It was cool. The layout is a bit better than Rave, admittedly, for sure, but not nearly as good as Spaceland. It's not Spaceland. That's really about it for what I like in terms of major things. What map is the Morbius of Cod? Are the somewhat tedious Easter egg steps, namely the Rat King symbols that only spawn one at a time in 13 different locations around the map. Chat, I gotta say. I think this step is in com competition for being as bad as Blood of the Dead bird step. Because at least with the Blood of the Dead bird step, you can hear the bird. This, you cannot even see it. And I remember there was a glitch when this first came out where some of the symbols wouldn't even spawn in. And like trying to hunt on this map was the biggest nightmare. Much guesswork in running around. You start going to gym because of Pam. Yes. Also, doing Morse code Morse in code. zombies is oh never something I condone anymore. Nope. It was cool the first time around, but at this point, I'm kind of just sick of it. Honestly, Morse code. This map oh also God. doesn't have the four wonder weapon formula exactly. There are these cheese that you can drink to get kung fu powers, and there are four different Cheat? versions of them, and they're fun cheese? enough, but honestly, aren't that useful at all compared to actual weapons. Weapon, so they're a bit of a waste and you don't really use them a whole lot I've not even talked about these special enemies in any of these maps yet because they're not really noteworthy or anything Crazy how people like... found the spots in the first place when going for the Easter egg. I know dude. It's just like ridiculous. we're talking about but Chop, in Shallow drinks, Shuffle, These confirmed. have to be one of the worst special enemies they've ever made these teleporting kung fu zombies the ninjas make it suck. almost impossible they're to evade so via normal movement methods. Yeah. Sprinting will practically make them lock onto you, and they deal the same damage as a normal zombie. No, I cannot stress they deal twice as much if they land a kick. So if you get kicked by two of them just by sprinting, you get instantly red screened, which is how terrible. These are. They make high rounds and first rooms incredibly annoying and unfun. Yeah, it is not a good enemy. It's not a good enemy. Probably one of the worst enemies in Zombies. No joke. Well, it's fine, I suppose. You do three different challenges while evading the Rat King, and then you take him out at the end. The challenges are kind of interesting, but not very well done or refined, if you ask me. It's a great idea on paper, but it's a very average or below average boss fight to me in execution. And it might sound like I'm being pretty hard on Shaolin, but those are my nah, only it's, real grievances it's, it's with pretty it. Other than that, the There's map a lot does of have a lot of other, of you know, map. minor likable qualities. It's still and a it's pretty good map, though. Still, and it's a decent survival map, just not nearly as well masterfully done as the maps that came before it. I and agree. this will bring us to DLC And Shaolin was the last the good map thing. of IW, in my opinion. All right, can I be real about this poo -poo. for a second? I hate this map. Woo! And a whole lot of Me zombies too. maps that I actively dislike. I can Woo! usually find enough redeeming qualities about a map to somewhat poo -poo. like it or at least be neutral on it. But with attack, I think this map is genuinely awful. With one I, redeeming I think so quality. too. It's practically everything I hate in a zombies map all rolled into one. <laughs> I know, tons right? Tons of wasted space. Yeah. Seriously, there's like three or four key areas and everything else is just filler. Yeah, it's so true. million random parts and pieces together Literally. and an unbelievably a terrible main Easter, Easter egg. egg. Yeah. Just watch this part of the tutorial for the main Easter egg I made a few years ago and see if this sounds fun to you. The pie number is basically this one over here on the right. I know it's not actually pie. Chat, but we unironically watched this because i have no idea how to do this he's right listen to this this is just so i can simplify it for number that was not crossed out whatever that might be as you guys can see going from red green uh-huh one of the chat if you got that ah yes oh yes yes oh yes i know this step uh-huh chat but chaos x silencer said it's the top 10 best zombies map i don't know boys I don't know. I, th I thought it was a top 10 zombies map. This map exemplifies basically everything I hate in zombies. Again, except for one thing, which we'll get to. The basic idea of this map the is boss that is great. Everything movie, else was poo -poo. And I can't tell if the game looks terrible in this map because they want to fit the aesthetic and, and theme they're going for or because they just didn't have the This is this also, map. chat, I have to say this, chat. I think Attack the Radioactive Thing is one of the ugliest zombies maps ever made period 
Like, actually, I would say this is probably, like, the second ugliest zombies map next to Duran Fong. Quite literally. They are, it's just the texture quality of both of those maps. Look at this. What is this? What is this? Nice. It's so bad. In any so case, bad. it looks like a PS2 game Attack that was of the made color in 2017. Gray. Literally. It's, like, baffling. But essentially, like, you're creating a bomb so with the help ugly. of Elvira, the celebrity in this map, which is the only way to destroy the monster called Krogzilla. It's a fine premise, and I understand Look at the water, dude. What the heck? It, it, it just... It looks like the most flat-looking water I've ever seen in my life. Going for with the tone... Look at know. the water! What? It's like chat actually number one worst looking water of all time. Silly elements of this map, but the gameplay itself is just so intolerable, I can hardly stand it. Even the wonder weapon is mildly interesting at best and down. No, the wonder weapon is actually, I think chat, the mad, the mad thing is one of the worst wonder weapons ever created. Genuinely. Right, boring it's at so worst. bad. It's not really it's a, a fun or exciting survival map that because doesn't it's work. so open and free. That and you it's have to not crank. really a fun quest map either because you need nope. a PhD in chemistry to do the Easter egg. Yeah. I'm exaggerating, of course, and there are no, cheat sheets do. now that make this process He's a whole lot smoother. But my problem is that's all it becomes. Brainlessly Chat, if I did this Easter egg without Metalbot, I would be dead. There's literally a homie in my chat named Metalbot who speed runs a lot of zombie Easter eggs. Without that homie, I would not have been able to do this. To get some number, you don't. Which IW map would you want to live in? Spaceline care about just to get to the end and to be fair the boss fight itself is somehow one of my favorite if this boss fight's amazing have though. a great boss fight it would easily, easily be, be one of the worst yeah but this I fight is so unique I and agree. well executed it prevents me from quite throwing out the map altogether First sequence, you escort a bomb the to the, the boss fight is really fun. with meteors, you and know, it's like genuinely elsewhere. kind of tough because it doesn't let up even for a second. Second sequence is you shoot them with lasers that are posted all around the beach, and it's kind of fun. You know, it's it's a fine step. Third the sequence laser step is probably you hold the worst step. Wait for these lasers the parkour step is amazing. I love it. Yeah, the laser step here. To the oh, the so beach. cool. And then final step, you plug in these numbers. Where are more of these steps in zombies, man? To activate the bomb, but it's pretty challenging because this. I don't think anyone weapon can be. Worse than the Magnetron? Easy I mean, idea, true. But the, but the mad is sucks, a genuine man. challenge, and it's he so unique and fun to do. Thank you, I'm actually shocked ones. a map this bad has such a good boss fight. I agree. Thank God for the boss rush mode, because I could go the rest of my life without doing this main Easter egg Amen. ever again, but I would like to play He's the boss spitting. fight whenever I, you know, He's whenever spitting. I feel like it. I'm not really sure what the thought process was when making this map, but like... Also, like, chat, if I were to just send you a screenshot of this... This. What year would you think this game has been made in? Like just this. This looks like a 1998 video game. It looks so bad. It's not even World at War map quality. You can't even diss World at War. World at War looked better than this. Like this is probably the one of the worst looking maps I've seen in Call of Duty, period. Of the ideas just fell flat to me in all honesty, but the boss fight itself is arguably worth playing it at the least boss great, though. just for that reason. But yeah. all things considered for Attack of the Radioactive Thing, another real step down in quality, but yeah. that brings us to our final map in the season, DLC 4, beast from beyond i like the idea of it looking old so school. dude but also it's like the filters on that map oh no no, no. final map in no, the no, season no. the beast from beyond is where this game really started to crumble but that beast as far as i'm concerned bad. this whole map was a red herring for what they were truly working on and True. don't worry we'll get there but this map didn't even really need to exist. It was simply a vehicle to tell the rest of the story. But this map is takes place on like a lunar facility or something with cryptids. Yes, the ones from Extinction uh, appear on this map. The implementation... Chat, why was... Here's something I don't understand. Why was Infinity Ward so... Like, they had the biggest hard-on for putting Extinction into zombies. Why? Cryptids were this is why I want to know. Terrible here. Literally and why? Because they're obviously fast moving why enemies. Why did they you want had a health aliens. bar that was, you know, fit for that game and they had a certain attack power that Validation? adjusted accordingly, meaning you take less damage generally. Like, were they trying to prove to people that they liked aliens and zombies, but then everyone just, like, literally, I think 99% of people consider this one of the worst zombies maps ever made, including myself. I actually believe that this is, like, easily one of the worst maps ever from fast moving enemies because it makes sense it would be unfair if a cryptid dealt the same damage as a slow stumbling zombie right 
Well, in Beast from Beyond, the cryptids have their super fast movement speed. Exactly. Also, the boss fight on Beast from Beyond they is deal not fun. The same damage That's as a really slow moving scary. zombie. And no, this doesn't make the game harder. It makes it broken. You can you can't take an this enemy boss fight and its is mechanics not fun. from a totally different game and slap it into new systems yes, without making any tweaks and call exactly. it. Exactly. It just doesn't work like that, and it's not good gameplay at all. The map's layout there is, is no kind of like Revelations, here. where it's like pieces from other maps previously in the, in the series kind of strong. Okay, I have a question for you. Because now that I realize it, this map is literally Forsaken. It literally is. You just teleport to different areas on the map. So my question to you, Chad, is this map or Forsaken? But it's also incredibly clunky and awkward. The main Easter egg is getting the Neil robot. I think honestly, I like Forsaken uh, better on something so he can do a thing. Foreskin at least has what? a fun I, I, boss, at least, and also the Foreskin Easter egg is pretty fun. It's not too difficult. I don't even care to explain this one. The entire map is a red herring and a stage for what the real point was. Even Which this was map meth. boss fight is horrendous Sucks. and the worst yeah. boss fight in all of COD Zombies. In I, my agree. Opinion. I agree. I agree. Fight chat one in, in the chat if you agree. This is, I think, one of the worst boss fights. Like next to there's there's a lot of bad boss fights in zombies, but this one sucks. A tight area in like a warehouse, this fighting only cryptids and a massive amounts of them at once. Again, the and fight you can cheese hard, it but with the a certain implementation of these enemies weapon. makes each run feel like a coin toss. Oh, I think it could have worked much better if they spent a fight. little more time balancing how the cryptids move and deal damage than not at all. We often yeah. joke, you know, that maps will copy and paste systems from one another, you know, kind of like the one, the four wonder weapon format and so on. But in this case, it is literally a copy paste from Extinction with no additional thought to balancing factors or literally. anything. But assuming you manage to play this godforsaken map and you get past the worst boss fight in COD Zombies history, you're then greeted with the best boss fight. I know, in right? Zombies. Isn't that funny? You go from the worst to the best. Like, who would have expected that? That's so funny. Funny. Mephistopheles is where all the love and it's so into. funny how you have the, the worst and the best one on the Ross same game the devil too. Himself, this is the most skill check boss fight the entire series has to offer it's I a agree. long fight too but like not in a way that drags on but in a way that tests your attention. Chat, since I've made my Mephistopheles video, have any of you guys tried to attempt it? One in the chat if you have, two in the chat if you got deleted on it, three in the chat the if you have. and endurance. One or two mistakes will mean game over and a reset, and the fight just makes you want to run it back every time Gosh, you Gosh, you know, this you boss fight is amazing, The fight has dude. devastating but highly reactable moves boss. from the boss, and pretty much every enemy within the game... That's Chat, I would literally take a COD Zombies game that's like Elden Ring, quite literally. Literally. Like, the maps could be, like, whatever. They could be fun. But, like, dude, I think zombies could easily have Elden Ring-type bosses. Because Mephistopheles is an Elden Ring boss. I really believe it. That's appeared so far. How would that it's work? In it as well. Literally look at Mephistopheles. It's literally an Elden Ring boss. Just make it difficult. Well, you have to stand in these ritual circles for, like, a certain amount of time to release and fill up souls. Shoot them at Mephistopheles to knock him down. And then take a ritual circle off his body all while continuing to read his attacks and react to them. This is the prime example of a true boss fight in it's my amazing. eyes. It's amazing. And yep. a near-perfect implementation into Willard's zombies that I sincerely I believe I hope have. we have more of in the future. I find it ironic how the literal worst boss fight in COD Zombies preceded the- Chat, Legion is nowhere near as difficult as this boss fight. Legion is difficult, but it's nowhere near as difficult as Meph. Actual best back-to-back. -back. It like, took what? a week for someone to beat Mephistopheles solo. That is insane for COD. One right after another. But this fight alone, above and beyond, no pun intended, makes this DLC actually worth it. And yeah. I cannot say enough good things about Mephistopheles. And I yeah. think zombies should use this fight as a blueprint going forward. And it was I certainly agree. worthy of I being a agree. final act for this game. A whole week well, the it map took for to people it to beat this map. questionable this at solo. best. There's no denying the sheer sauce and mastery the Mephistopheles fight brings yeah. to the table. Chat, Mephistopheles is better than any BL3 or BL4 so, with fight. All of it's that amazing. Said, was it's great. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare secretly a masterpiece that was just surrounded by unfortunate circumstances? Well, I'll let you draw your own conclusions on Chat, that. Chat, do you think yes or no? I, can't, I don't think the answer is either of them. I think it deserved what it got, but it did release in a bad year. I think it would have gotten way more publicity if it released, like, now or something. Not exactly. You know? If you had only played the campaign and a bit of multiplayer and some Spaceland, you might 
might actually feel that way. But if you played a bit on more and more of multiplayer and zombies throughout as the year went on, the game was beginning to fall apart to some degree, so no. I don't think it's a masterpiece by any means, but I do think it's a very solid Call of Duty game depending Same. on what you Same. like playing for. Same. Campaign I, I agree is more excellent Trump, in actually. my estimation. Uh, while multiplayer is a little bit weaker, it still has its enjoyable qualities, and zombies, the map on disc, and the final act are both outstanding, but yeah. everything in the middle separating them is kind of all over the place. Yeah. It's an interesting game, to say the least, and it is while I don't think it's game. the best Call of Duty of all time, it certainly did not reflect that. It's not a bad like Call of Duty. That's, that's what I'll have to say. I won't say IW is a bad Call of Duty. It, it has really good elements. Like, a bad Call of Duty is Vanguard or Ghosts. It's a good COD game. To its Definitely not now. as bad the as what people said it was. The game is not the greatest ever made, but it's still deserving of a spot at the table of unique and interesting COD games. Yeah, I agree. Great video. Great video. Let's go.